Hi, this is Michael from DNA and over the next few minutes I'm going to talk about something which I think is the most powerful tool in a mind mapping software package, the fact that you can actually write an entire essay in a mind map. So you can start planning your essay visually and then end up with a document which has pretty much most of the text you're going to need in your finished essay. Now don't worry if you're using a different software package to what you're going to see on my screen. I'm using MindView on a Windows PC but this video is about the strategy underpinning this process and although I'll be making reference to specific functions in MindView I'll be giving you hints about how you can find similar tools in other software packages as we go along. Lots of the students that I've worked with on a one-to-one -one basis, especially the ones that I'm seeing in relation to a specific learning difference, such as dyslexia or dyspraxia, they often say that they get overwhelmed by text. So they'll often just jump into Word, start writing an essay, and kind of hope for the best. But I think we all know that when you've got tons and tons of text in a Word document, and you realize that you need to restructure that piece of writing, that can be a pretty frustrating experience for a number of reasons. So I really like writing as much of my essays as possible inside mind mapping packages. So we can see here a map I've already started making. Those of you who have watched some of the earlier videos in this playlist will be familiar with this map. And those of you who watched the very last video about attachments will see underneath these little paper clips we've got some attachments in here. So I've cheated and I've added in some text notes about Darjeeling and Earl Grey and all different types of tea. Now these are paragraphs that I actually want to appear in my finished essay. Now the way this works is you click on a part of your map that you want to insert a text note into and you'll find the text note function in most mind mapping software packages. It might have a slightly different name but the function is basically the same. So with my introduction selected, I'm going to click on text notes. Now in this particular program, mind view, we've got this text bar that's appeared. Now we can drag it up and down and move it around so we see more or less of the map. Depending on the program you're in, this might look slightly different. In inspiration, you'll see a little yellow sticky note appear. It looks different in every package, but the principle is the same. You now have an area that you can enter text into. And the idea is that you would enter much more text in here. You could take detailed notes to go into your essay, which might form paragraphs later on. But if we compare that with the sort of titles that we're putting in a mind map, we want to keep these titles quite short so that when you're looking at the map, you're not overwhelmed by text. And when we hide this note later on, similarly, you're not going to have to look at paragraphs and paragraphs of text the entire time. These are going to be hidden or nested inside the different branches on the map. So I'm going to go ahead and type a quick note in here. A quick note here. Before I leave this text note, it's worth noticing that if you look at the top of the screen, all the controls have changed. So now I've got a lot of the functions here that you might recognize from Microsoft Word. Now this won't be the same in all different mind mapping packages, so just be aware of that. Uh, in Inspiration it's quite simplified. That doesn't mean you can't use this strategy in Inspiration. Okay, I'm going to close my note down and maybe just look at some of the other notes in here. So in Darjeeling, I've just got a paragraph about Darjeeling tea there. And similarly, if I'm talking about my kettle, I've even got a paragraph about my kettle. So you can get all the paragraphs that you need into your mind map. You can complete these in any order. And then if you decide that this paragraph about a kettle is in the wrong place, I'm going to put it somewhere stupid for a moment. I'm going to put it in the introduction. That paragraph that you wrote about the kettle moves as well. So you can write paragraphs shut them down so you can't see them and then use the map to think about the overarching structure of your essay and then make decisions about whether those paragraphs or sets of notes are in the right place. I'm just going to put my kettle back underneath equipment by dragging it and dropping it here and we're going to now look for some export functions. Now most mind mapping packages should have these if you're using the free version of XMind, you might only have text note export function, but you can always copy and paste from a text note into a Word document. In Mind View, I'm going to go up to File, and we have some export functions down at the bottom. 
Now there's loads of different export functions here but I'm just going to choose Microsoft Word and just to give you a quick overview I'm going to choose quick word export. There is an advanced word export as well and it's worth knowing that's there because the quick word export will put all sorts of different things into your map that you may not want but just to show you I'm going to click on quick word export so I'm going to choose a home for this document I'm just going to put it on my desktop now and I'm going to click save good my export to Microsoft Word is complete I'm going to open this document now if you are using mind view and you see this window pop up which reads this document contains fields that may refer to other files don't worry about that just click yes and we should see our document appear so like I said this is a quick word export and it really does throw in everything and the kitchen sink as well so it's given us a title it's actually put a copy of the map in as well it's generated as a contents page and we can also see that it has added all of our paragraphs in in the right order so the order of these paragraphs is determined by the order that they appeared in the map if you had dragged these different branches to different parts of the map then this might look very very different indeed two points your word export might look very very different depending on the mind mapping package that you're using it might be a lot simpler secondly you have got control over how complicated this word export is we've got all kinds of things here including hyperlinks to the PDF files and websites down there on this page if I go back into mind view back into export remember you've also got this advanced word export and within there you can shut off a lot of the things that you might not need not everyone likes to have the map or the contents page and you might want a simpler template to use so there we have it. That's a very, very brief overview of how you can use a mind mapping package to export your map into an essay format.